A move to curb violent crime, a new pilot program could require repeat offenders to be tracked via GPS. Thank you for joining us for News 2 at 4. I'm Mark Kelly. In fact, a Memphis lawmaker is spearheading this effort, hopes to expand it across the state. State Capitol reporter Tori Gessner explains the potential impact. State Representative G.A. Hardaway calls them community terrorists. These are the same folk who are out on bond and are repeat offenders while they're waiting on the first case to be adjudicated and resolved. That's crazy. According to the Memphis police chief, 40% of arrests in that city alone are repeat offenders wreaking havoc on innocent victims again and again. Why aren't we more serious about protecting individuals, not just the deterrent factor, but protecting individuals after the crime? Q Representative Hardaway's idea to track violent criminals with a GPS monitor. It's an expansion of a state law passed last session, which he helped sponsor, mandating certain domestic violence offenders wear GPS tracking devices while out on bond. Hardaway is working to launch a pilot program in Memphis, extending that to all violent repeat offenders. Then he'll present that data to Tennessee lawmakers in hopes of passing legislation statewide. We're past the time to where we're locking ourselves up in our homes and the criminals run free. That's crazy. And this is something that will have immediate impact. That includes discouraging gang activity and bringing down the crime rate, which in turn boosts the economy by attracting business to the state, according to Hardaway. The ultimate hope, though, is to save lives. It will give us valuable data on how to build a better mousetrap and to keep Memphis, to keep Tennessee, uh, safer uh, than they were before. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Tori Gessner. And Representative Hardaway has already talked to Memphis court judges, district attorneys, as well as other officials who he says they're on board. Next steps include cost estimates, also working with those officials to implement the program.